been doing and I hope the same has gone with you. We had a couple of sales happening, we had some fish moving in, moving out. Uh, brilliant week, brilliant day. And guys, uh, other than that, uh, let me tell you, I am so sorry for the other video. Uh, in the last vlog, I told you I do two videos. One was the history and one was the log. I did the log. I didn't upload the history because the history was really bad. Although I wanted to talk to you about uh, the opening of Tara Port Aquarium in 1951, I want to talk about the Philip Henry, the startup of the Aquarium Latin Zoo, the first one. I wanted to talk about Danny James, the first person who would start uh, keeping Sony photos and seaweed in our aquarium in the uh, 80s. So I didn't do all that because that video wasn't good. I will show you a small clip of that uh, video right here. Guys, this is Sean. Welcome to Marine Hobby one on one session on how to keep marine aquarium at home. So, guys, this is the first session. We are going to discuss about the basic definition of an aquarium and we are going to talk about the history of marine hobby and marine aquarium in general. So, guys, any structure which is made out of glass, acrylic, brick, marble, which does not hamper the chemistry of water, and we are able to keep aquatic life animals and plants in that structure is regarded as an aquarium. So I don't know guys if you like this video or not but I am not putting it online because it's not that great uh, to understand the aquarium. Other than that guys, uh, we had a small little issue once again with the critter. That critter which we found last time, that hitchhiker was not able to uh, cut through the nylon net and went through it and went back into the aquarium although I don't have anything inside it right now so it's very easier to catch it back and uh, I got a very big beta holder for the predator so that it's, it, it doesn't uh, go through the uh, net like it did the last time so what we are going to do is we are going to pull that uh, predator out and uh, we are going to show you the stop lock uh, the vlog uh, for the stock which we having this week and uh, we'll just talk uh, for a while on this uh, video and uh, see how it goes so guys catch on also guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe hit the red button down below it's right there it's absolutely free it takes a lot uh, making these videos although i have shifted to open source but those softwares and uh, the editing software which i'm using they're not easy to use I am not able to get a few help which uh, you are usually get in uh, Windows for Adobe Premiere Pro or any other software. So those softwares I have to hit and try and do everything. So guys uh, let's start this uh, log and uh, let's take out the hitchhiker. Just hold on. I will take you closer. So guys do you, do you, can you see the rock? I am focused it out. And, uh, I'm just taking out the the beta box. Uh, we have some suckers with the beta box so that uh, we can put it across here. Now this printer has been inside this, so it's not going to be very easy to take it out just like that. So let's hope that it comes out easily. And uh, for that, guys, I do need a small. So this is what I am going to use. I don't know if you can see the rock. Can you see the rock? Oh, there it is. Can you see the crab? I hope you can. So we are just going to take this crab out because it's been irritating me a lot. Yeah. So I have just taken it out. It's there with me. And we are going to put it in the pillar box. It had a box over here but I got a small uh, Bag, so I can't use that box again. I have to buy this new box for it. Here it goes. So guys, can you see the pad? There it is. <laughs> Quite a fucking. I'll just put the cover and uh, it's not going to go anyway. Don't worry. It's just flying here and there. Done it. We have got the data, and I can't find my uh, 
taking on this shall so just put it over here So guys, I have managed to get that thing out, but my issue is now I got yeah, I found it. So here's the second clip. So these suction pumps help it float or put it inside the water. So I'm gonna put it inside the water because there is no holes as such, which I'll do it myself later. So I'm gonna manage I'll manage to get some holes inside so that the water can pass absolutely clearly and well. Now hopefully he's not gonna go anywhere. He's gonna stay there. Let me do my hands. My hands up because it's gonna be wet. So guys, can you see that? I'll just move the camera. There's the new Vita box and let me take it a little more closer there you go can you see it? and this thing has been floating here and there I don't know why because it's supposed to go inside so guys uh, caught the critter caught it this bugger made me clean the whole tank, the whole rock, everything went off because of this. So guys, uh, let me show you the stock which we got for this week. And uh, other than this critter, which is also a stock, if anyone has uh, uh, aquarium which is like an aggressive one, can always uh, manage this out. So guys, for the stock, update let me show you. Can you see this? Okay, let me do I want to focus on this. So guys, this is the shrimp and the gobi. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Look at the color. Look at the colors of the feet. Of uh, the shrimp, brilliant. Other than that, we got this ras. You got a feather. We have a dotty inside this. Uh, I don't know when it will come out Here it does So this is a new one And then guys other than that We got Gundam over here, we got a new one over here Other than this guys uh, We have another fish over here I don't know if it will come out or not it's a blue trigger Odorous Niger we have so as soon as it comes out I'll show you I know where it is hiding so I'll show you when it comes out other than this guys uh, we got this now this is a sea urchin brilliant colors it's black white and uh, red Brilliant colors on the sea urchin. Other than that, we got uh, the green line grass. The six line grass is here. And we have a. Oh, there it goes. So that's a green, six line grass. We also have a red tail file fish over here. I don't know if it'll come out or not. Yeah, it does. Did it? No, I didn't. So 
so we didn't come out so it's okay let it stay as it is so guys just gave them food so the fish has started coming out so here is the odorous niger the blue trigger we were, I was talking about there is the fish There goes the red tail. So guys, this is two very amazing fish if you want to keep at home although these are little aggressive ones so especially the, the blue especially this one so if you want this uh, you might have to get rid of some other fish because this fish uh, tend to get aggressive uh, as it uh, starts getting bigger so one needs to take care of that other than that that's a brilliant fish to keep at home in your home aquarium uh, it's a hardy fish brilliant fish to keep so guys, I hope you like the Ogrenus Niger, the blue trigger which I just showed you, it's a very different looking fish. If you're planning to keep it in your aquarium, you might want to get uh, rid of certain small other fishes. So uh, it becomes a little aggressive down the stage, but not right now, it's absolutely fine. Other than that, you might uh, have to give it a food which has little thicker shell on it or you might want to keep some rocks because it will go and bite those rocks it, uh, it's ever growing teeth needs to be polished so uh, it's absolutely nice to keep a rock at least so that about it guys other than that guys uh, if you're planning I have a brilliant fish uh, which is there uh, in the ocean it is known as the six line grass I've just shown it to you it has brilliant colors uh, the colors are from pink to what not color so guys if you're planning to get that fish with a green tail brilliant fish to keep so guys uh, in the earlier video i was talking to you about keeping an aquarium thinking of an aquarium uh, dreaming of an aquarium so i hope you have thought about an aquarium at home uh, thought about uh, taking this hobby a little further so guys if you have thought about it and you have any doubts i leave the email id in the description you can always get in touch with us and we'll discuss uh, the problems and the issues you're going to face and uh, what you're going to do because what most of the people don't do while uh, keeping an aquarium that is think ahead or plan ahead uh, they just get an aquarium and they just start uh, doing the work it's always better to think about the aquarium plan it ahead and then work backwards that way you will not have any issue uh, i ran into so many problems when i had uh, two different systems if i would have thought about in the future i could have made all three of them a single system and i would have, I would have saved on a lot of electricity and a lot of lights and a lot of uh, power and pump so but i didn't i didn't do it i was just getting in the hobby you don't uh, do the same mistakes which i did so guys uh, other than this guys i'm going to uh, push off it's quite late i've already given the food to the fish and uh, before i go i'm going to leave you with these pictures which i just take and uh, for me guys it's ciao from my side guys ciao and i'll catch you in some other log <laughs>